Hey everyone, Sam here from Movement, and today I'm excited to walk you through the completely redesigned scheduling experience. We have reimagined how scheduling works for both creators and members, making it more powerful and intuitive. We've introduced three new calendar modes and a completely redesigned member experience. So let's dive in. Let's start with the global calendar. This can be your central hub for managing content that's visible to all members. You can access it in two ways, directly from the sidebar here underneath content, or you can also click your calendar uh, main navigation item. So the global calendar is perfect for scheduling community-wide events, weekly workouts, webinars, or live sessions. So to add things to my calendar, all I need to do is click on the date that I want to schedule things for. So I'll click on this one and I want to schedule a live class and maybe a workout. Then to reschedule things on the calendar, it's as easy as drag and drop. So now on my calendar in the app, my users will see that on the 20th, there's a workout and on the 27th, there's a live class. So next up is the member calendar. Now, this is designed for personalized scheduling. To access it, simply use the drop down the top left and select member calendar and then the member you want to schedule for. So this is your calendar that you're going to use for individual check-ins, custom workouts, or kind of personal training sessions. Now, this calendar is special in the sense that it also shows the content that has been scheduled onto the member's calendar from programs they've joined or courses they've joined, or even content that they've scheduled themselves. So this gives you a nice bird's eye view of what the user is seeing as well. Again, I can simply add things to my, my user's calendar. And when I schedule things on this calendar, they will only appear for this member. Next up is the program or course calendar. Now I think this is where things get really exciting. So to access it, simply go to your content and programs and then select a program. And up here above the page tree, you'll see this new calendar option. Simply click that. And now we are presented with a calendar specific to this program. Now, when there's nothing scheduled as part of this program, you'll get a prompt to select the calendar mode. We have three modes, a rolling calendar, which is simply a date based calendar. You can add things. It doesn't have a start or an end date. It's just a calendar, a relative calendar, which allows you to schedule things relative to when the user is going to join. So day one, day two, day three, and then a start on date. Now, this is ideal for cohort based courses. Everyone will start and progress together. Um, and they can't start the content until the date has passed. So for this example, I'm going to use the relative calendar. Now, if you already have pages within your program, it's super easy to drag and drop them onto the calendar to schedule. Then you can use this little handle to change the, change the dates of it. So now I've got this going from day one through to seven, and I can do the same thing for week two. Now, when I add things to this calendar now, it's going to actually organize them in my page tree over here. So this workout is going to go on day two and I can um, option drag to copy into week two. You can also use the copy to and repeat functions to copy the um, whatever it is uh, manually. So now I have my two weeks set up. I can simply repeat this next one for let's say repeat it for another two more weeks. And now I have what I can use as week three and four. So I can just come here and edit this as week three and three, four. And I have these, these now in the calendar. So I hope that shows how quickly you can build out a program using this new calendar. For your members, we've completely redesigned the in-app calendar experience with a vertical layer that's more intuitive and friendly. With this update, we now show a month's content at a time as opposed to a single day that we do now. It also groups the content into um, content types and uh, programs. So for example, here, I've got two programs running. I can see uh, this content is being scheduled by the weekly program and this one by the example program. You can still easily navigate between months by clicking this drop down and then going forward or back. And we've also introduced these filters across the top that allow us to quickly filter down by content type. These can be customized in the global schedule view in the admin. Users also have now a for me filter, which shows content that they have personally scheduled themselves, content that you have scheduled onto their calendar, or content that's scheduled onto their calendar as part of a program. There is also an update to the program homepages for members. So now on the homepage of a program, if it has scheduled content, users will see this floating bar here 
where they can switch to a calendar view of this program. This shows the calendar with only the content that has been scheduled by this program. So this means for you as a creator, you don't have to spend as long building out the inner pages of your program because users can quickly flip to the content that is scheduled by the program and they can just access their program content from here. So I hope that gives you a good understanding of the new scheduling feature. And I hope it gives you a few ideas of the things that you can do with it.